Welcome to our video on installation rules part 7, which is part of the special installations or locations. We look at section 7.4, construction and demolition site installations. General, the special requirements of this subclause apply to temporary installations provided for building construction sites, work of repair, alterations, extension or demolition of existing buildings, earthwork, public engineering and similar work. Parts of buildings which undergo structural alterations such as extension, major repair or demolition are considered to be construction sites during the relevant period of work to the extent that the work necessitates the provision of temporary installation. Where alterations to existing buildings are undertaken, that part of the installation shall comply with the additional requirements of this subclause. This might necessitate the temporary installation of an additional distribution board. Supply. Equipment shall be identified with the particular supply from which it is energized and shall contain only components connected to one and the same installation, except for control or signaling circuit and input from standby supplies. Protection. Socket outlets shall be protected by earth leakage protection devices that have a rated earth leakage tripping current not exceeding 30 milliamps. Except for emergency lighting, all final circuits for lighting shall be additionally protected by an earth leakage protection device with a rated earth leakage stripping current not exceeding 30 milliamps. Installation. Assemblies, fixed equipment and other equipment installed shall have a degree of protection of at least IP32. Note, environmental conditions such as excessive dust, wet conditions, heat, etc. should be considered. Wiring shall be so arranged that no strain be placed on the terminations of conductors unless they are specifically designed for this purpose. To avoid damage, cables should not be run across site roads or walkways. Where this is necessary, special protection against mechanical damage and contact with construction plant shall be provided. Armored cables or cables protected against mechanical damage shall be used wherever there is a risk of mechanical damage. Unarmored single core cables are permitted where they cannot be subjected to mechanical damage and are out of arms reach. Uninsulated live conductors are not permitted. Mixed loading of circuits is not permitted. All electric motors shall be provided with an effective means of isolation. All poles and such means shall be adjacent to the motor. Luminaires. Luminaires mounted below 2.5 meters from floor level or otherwise access accessible to accidental contact shall be firmly and adequately fixed and so sighted or guarded as to prevent risk of injury to persons or ignition of materials. Distribution boards. All distribution boards shall comply with SAN 60439-4. Automatic supply disconnection of cables, which are intended to supply sub-distribution boards or loads, shall be provided at the air origin by additional earth leakage protection devices with a rated earth leakage tripping current not exceeding 500 milliamps. These devices can provide a delay by using a device for discrimination with earth leakage devices that protect final circuits. Note, the recommendation for additional protection relates to the increased risk of damage to cables in temporary locations. The number of sub-distribution boards and circuits required 
shall be determined by the size of the site and the demand for power. A circuit breaker rated in accordance with the anticipated diverse load and with a symmetrical short circuit breaking capacity commensurate with the prospective symmetrical fault current shall be installed at the source end. Rating and timing shall be set to provide protection but avoiding spurious trips caused, for example, by subtransient inrust currents on motor starting. The metal work shall be protected against corrosion and the damage expected under site conditions. The final finish shall be orange. Isolating devices shall be suitable for securing in the off position, for example, a padlock or location inside a lockable enclosure. The distribution board shall contain one or more multi-element robust LED indicator lamps per face to show that the board is alive, HRC fuses or correctly rated circuit breakers within the board shall protect these lamps. Where required, 4-pin thread face in earth, welding socket outlets, typically 63 amp rating, each of which shall be protected by a circuit breaker and 30 milliamp earth leakage protection. Where required, 3-pin phase neutral in earth, welding socket outlets rated at 32 amp with associated circuit breakers and 30 milliamp earth leakage protection. This shall particularly be provided for portable single phase welding sets and switch sockets outlet 16 amps connected in pairs to individual single pole 20 amp combined circuit breakers and 30 milliamp earth leakage protection of sufficient number. The circuit breakers and associated earth leakage relays referred to in 7.4.6.7b C and D shall be provided as combined units to reduce the possibility of the sensors being bypassed. A sufficient number of the different types of socket outlets to suit the circumstances shall be installed. When live single core conductors go through electrically conductive material, measures shall be taken to minimize eddy current heating or magnetic material, measures shall be taken to avoid hysteresis losses. The cabinet size shall allow the door to be comfortably closed with the largest plugs inserted in the socket outlets. The bending radius of the trailing cable shall be safe and grommeted. Slots shall be provided on the return lip of the door. Um, that's the end of our video. Uh, you can click on the playlist to see the rest of the videos in the series and also subscribe to get our latest content. Thank you.